Powerful volcanoes have formed the Hawaiian Islands. These spectacular volcanoes are the largest on the planet. They spew out a tremendous amount of lava and have done so for millions of years. But what is the source of this huge and constant upwelling of fiery activity? Where does all of this lava come from? This long-standing geological mystery is leading scientists all the way down to the very core of the Earth. And with powerful new ways of probing those incredible depths, a new glimpse of Hawaii's fiery roots has been revealed. On the big island of Hawaii, geochemist Don Thomas is climbing the snow-covered ancient lavas of the dormant Mauna Kea volcano. As director of the Center for the Study of Active Volcanoes, Don spends much of his time thinking about how volcanoes work. His interest in the subject began when he arrived on the island some 35 years ago. As I became interested in the field, it was clear that there was just a huge amount that we really did not understand about volcanoes, about the processes, and we really did not understand their, their dangers, their hazards. They were looked at as, as really being a force that could not be understood. But Don Thomas was determined to understand volcanoes. There was a basic question he and many other Earth scientists dearly wanted to answer. Exactly what is the mysterious force that is building this island in the middle of the ocean? Tackling this key geologic puzzle could provide major insights into the fundamental workings of our planet. Over the last 20 years in the evolution of our understanding of the geology of planet Earth, uh, we've come to recognize that the Big Island is really in a unique place. We are here in the middle of the Pacific, and we're at the end of a chain of islands that actually extends up as far north as the Aleutian Islands. The chain of islands that we see today, each of those islands was located here at one time in its history. How is it possible that once upon a time, each Hawaiian island was located here, where the Big Island is now? And how did scientists discover this? Their first clue was the long-held knowledge that the Hawaiian Islands did not all form at the same time. Native Hawaiians had long understood that their beautiful islands were created one after another, with the oldest in the north and the youngest in the south. Scientific analysis confirmed the age progression of the islands. Kauai, located in the northern part of the chain, is one of the oldest, at about five and a half million years old. Moving south, Oahu is younger, 3.8 million years old. Maui is about two million years old. And at the southeastern end of the chain is the Big Island, the youngest of all, at one million years old and still growing. But what was the cause of the island chain's age progression? The scientific explanation came with the development of the theory of plate tectonics in the 1960s. Geologists began to understand that the Hawaiian Islands have the peculiar characteristic of having a heat source that is anchored in one place below the Earth's crust in the layer known as the mantle. 
Each island forms on the ocean floor directly above this hot magma producing region. Then the ocean floor, which is part of an immense, slowly moving tectonic plate, drifts to the northwest, carrying the island with it. The magma source remains behind, creating the next island. This idea of a stationary source of heat beneath a moving tectonic plate became known as the hotspot theory. But what was causing this hotspot? It wasn't long before geologists came up with an idea.